Welcome back to a new video here in Suave. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of cool things that you can do with these transitions and that you how you can sort of like play around and customize and basically create a bunch of different transitions with one transition as the base. So first of all, let's go and change the playback to half resolution because that way we can actually render the things more easily while recording. And actually the free transitions that you can download, check the link in the description, are gonna be these five. And these are sort of like basics. If you check the community post, you're gonna see that uh, the examples of that. And these transitions are just drag and drop. You can preview them by just sliding it across like that. It's a little bit laggy sometimes when you're doing that because I'm recording at the same time. So if there's some frame drops, it's because of that. So first of all, let's check the transition. Let's preview this transition and check it out. So that's the basic transition. If you want to play around, you can change these settings. But one cool thing that it's easier, that I found it to be easier, is like if you right click and go into Fusion, and it's easier to preview it inside the Fusion tab. Uh, for some reason, it renders faster when you're here. And that way you can come here and do some changes. Let's say you want to change the angle of it. And since the actual uh, transition is set up to actually reflect the edges, that you that way you can produce a completely new sort of like transition that's similar, but in a different style of the other one. You can also change the size of these. And then, well, the size on this one doesn't affect it as much. There's a few others that if you change the size, uh, it's a completely new, different transition. You can flip this up, and this is the motion blur of the actual movement of these frames. And that is for this one. And if you wanna replace one, you don't have to go back to the edit page. You can simply just get rid of this one here. And let's say we wanna use this number three. If you just drop it there and then put these on the foreground, so then once this one is rendered, you can check it out and preview it. And then you can also change the angle that this one comes from and flip it. But every time that you do any changes, it's going to have to render again. So you want to make sure that if you have a lot of memory and it renders and it pre-renders fast, then you don't have to worry too much about it. Okay, so then one cool thing that you can do is if you want to mix with another transition that's for sort of like, let's say one of the things that are default in, in DaVinci Resolve, for example, this zoom in transition, if you want to drop it here and then change that to the fore foreground also, then that sort of like mixes both transitions and, and adds a little bit of a cooler effect. So you that way you can mix different transitions at the same time. Let's try with this tunnel of light one and see how it goes. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. Yeah, that affects it too much, I think. Now, let me show you one of the transitions that is actually from the actual from the premium pack, uh, which is going to be available soon. And I think I'm going to release it in a sort of like a beta or open beta type of version i will let you know more about that so this one is a, it's completely different than the basic ones but this one has a lot of different squares here and that's sort of like a really cool effect in itself but you can also change the color here of the actual like shadow or sort of like glow that's behind the squares too if you want you can also just leave it blank or like make it transparent if you don't want it to be so it's gonna be just like a normal mask transition uh, so you can play around with those different things now one cool thing about this specific transition is that if you zoom out because of the mask uh, of the edges mode that I could set it up to be at then this creates a completely new transition that while all the little scores are way smaller it looks super cool and then you can just like basically play around with it and create some really interesting things happening there and it's all up to your creativity and like what you can come up with um, if you make it super big then there's gonna be bigger squares uh, and less squares also like like these that's gonna be way faster too 
but then this one also you can um, mix it up with another transition like these zoom in and zoom in zoom out ones they look really cool when mixed with all their like mask transitions that's why i like it i like that combination um uh it's just like a way to keep it a little bit more dynamic and interactive uh, you can also play it with this one but then this one is a little bit way too like fast i think and then like it's a little bit too much like that's a little bit more subtle but you get the idea if there's a lot of cool things that you can do with play around with these style of transitions um you can check the link in the description to get these free ones and you're gonna see a preview of all of them too here in this video but if you want to see the other ones there's gonna be an actual product page where i will showcase each of these individual transitions so that you can check them out and see if you, if you like them and if you find it to be useful then you can get the pack and use it on your own videos. I've already used these, a few of these in a commercial that I produced uh, a few weeks ago. So yeah, they're really cool, but you should definitely play around with the free ones and see what you can come up with. There's a little bit less, they're a little bit less complex than the other ones. Like these hexagon, for example, you will see, well, it's called honeycomb transition, but it's just a different name, it's hexagons. But like this one, for example, is really more like sort of like sci-fi in a sense. So if you have some futuristic holographic screen that you want to pop up, you can use these to make it seem that it's showing up like that and change the color and play around with it. I'm still thinking about adding more like the different transform settings like these ones has here. But so for the actual release of the pack, I'm probably going to do that. So I have to re-export these actual transitions. Uh, again to make sure to make all those options available for you guys so that is pretty much it with this video and if you want to know more about the transitions you can also just comment down below if you have any questions and I'm thinking also about adding some of this Thea transition styles into this format but that will probably be in the future updates of the actual pack not right now when I want to release it soon enough and that page is going to be available soon too um, i will make another video one that is available but yeah for now just enjoy these free ones and play around with them do as much as you want with them and use them on any kind of projects that you like and that is pretty much it for this video and i hope to see you in the next video here in swabi bye